Man City vs Liverpool Live, latest FA Cup semi-final updates. Follow for live updates as Manchester City and Liverpool renew their rivalry in the FA Cup semi-finals at Wembley. An enthralling 2-2 draw at the Etihad last weekend saw Manchester City remain one point clear in the Premier League title race, and the quality and intensity of the match means another encounter between Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp's heavyweight sides promises to be another unmissable occasion. While last weekend's Premier League draw means the title is once again set to go down to the wire, the outcome of this afternoon's semi-final will have a more immediate impact on City and Liverpool's respective ambitions this season. For the Reds, this will be the greatest test yet of their quadruple hopes, while City are also trying to keep their treble bit alive. The winner of Chelsea and Crystal Palace's match tomorrow will await in the final. Today's match comes after a busy midweek for both teams which saw City and Liverpool progress to the Champions League semi-finals and a step closer to a potential European final in Paris. Liverpool were able to rest key players as they advanced against Benfica, but City's exertions in a fiery and brussing battle at Atletico Madrid could be significant in what has been a short turnaround. Follow live updates from Manchester City vs Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-finals following the conclusion of Spurs v Brighton, below. 51 mins, chance. It's not how Spurs would have been expecting it to happen, but they get a the first chance of the second half when Harry Kane sends a long throw into the penalty area. Sun Hyung Min brings the ball down under pressure and turns towards goal. He scuttles back to create space to shoot, but Joel Veltman is there to block it and clear for the visitors. 48 mins, Gross links up with Mac Allister to work the ball up the inside right channel and over to Lamptey on the right wing. He carries the ball towards the byline and sees his cross into the box blocked. Kick off, Graham Potter does make a change at halftime and Danny Welbeck comes on to replace Enoch Mwepu. Spurs get the game back underway. When Antonio Conte took over at Tottenham just five short months ago, the despondency from Spurs fans was at its lowest ebb since Ju and Ramos's final hours back in 2008. Five defeats, nine goals scored, and 15 conceded in just 10 Premier League matches was not pleasing reading for the swiftly sacked Nuno Espirito Santo. The Portuguese coach was shown the exit door in double quick time, not only because of the results, but the manner of the displays. It was dull, restrained, reactionary football which only yielded more than one league goal on two occasions. Spurs can move six points clear of Arsenal with a win over Brighton, ahead of the Gunners' clash with Southampton at St Mary's there aren't many highlights from that first half, but it will be interesting to see if Enoch Mwepu comes back out for Brighton after the break. He was growing in frustration and looked the most likely to see a second yellow card. Will Graham Potter risk going down to 10 men if Mwepu continues to throw himself about? 45 plus 2 mins, nothing to separate the two teams as they head into the break. Tottenham haven't been at it, they're a little sluggish, a little slow and lacking in creativity. Brighton have been decent, but as is usually the case for Graham Potter's men they're lacking the clinical finish in the final third. 45 mins, two minutes of added time, to play at the end of the first half. Mwepu is involved in a bit of argy-bargy again, and is treading a fine line with the referee. Graham Potter needs to calm him down at halftime. 42 mins, Enoch Mwepu is another lucky man. He's already on a yellow card and raise his foot high in an attempt to bring an aerial pass under control. He doesn't spot Ben Davies approaching from behind, and the Tottenham defender nips in front of Mwepu to head the ball clear. It's a high foot from Mwepu, but the referee awards a free kick to Spurs and keeps the cards in his pocket. 39 mins, chance. A simple long ball is won inside Brighton's box by Harry Kane who heads it over to Pierre-Emile Hodgeberg. Hodgeberg returns the ball after Kane rolls away from his marker, but his shot gets closed down quickle by Robert Sanchez. Good goalkeeping. 36 mins, Brighton's build-up has been solid. They're getting the ball in and around Tottenham's box pretty regularly, but they don't have many options when the ball comes into the middle. A cross from Pascal Gross comes over to Emerson Royal who has plenty of time and space to chest the ball safely down to Hugo Lloris with no threat from the Brighton forwards.